Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So it's been a busy week for Microsoft with all the updates they've been pushing out. And the beta channel has also received a brand new build, 22635.3061, which rolled out with the update, KB5034215. Now, as always for the beta channel, because it is a little bit closer to the stable version, if you want to be the first to get features gradually rolled out to you, you need to have this toggle turned on on your Windows Update page as always. Now, just to have a look at a couple of changes and improvements that are gradually being rolled out uh, with that toggle turned on. And I mentioned this in the previous video, but just to have a brief summary for the beta channel, Windows Share. Uh, the Windows Share window now basically offers direct sharing of URLs to WhatsApp, Gmail, X, Facebook, and LinkedIn, which simplifies the process um, if you are using those different uh, platforms, which I actually think is a nice move. And then just to mention that because the beta channel um, is in effect more or less what we're going to see roll out with the Moment 5 feature update, which should start rolling out towards the end of February into March, April. This update also includes a handful of fixes to improve overall reliability. So obviously Microsoft is starting to kind of stabilize uh, this build for public re release in a month or two. So that's an important little update there. Includes a handful of fixes to improve overall reliability. Now, new features for everyone in the beta channel. Now, this next one, I'm just going to touch on briefly because I have been posting on this quite in depth. And by now, most of you should know what this is all about. Um, this includes a richer weather experience on the lock screen. So the lock screens get in a new weather widget which includes dynamic interactive weather updates according to Microsoft. So as you hover over the weather experience on your lock screen, Microsoft says you will see more information. And when you tap or click on the weather card and sign in, Microsoft Edge opens with the full forecast in MSN weather. So that's a new weather widget on its way uh, to the lock screen, basically across the board in the Insider program and also the stable version. And then just to mention uh, this next a change in improvement, Microsoft says they're beginning to update references to Azure Active Directory, AAD, to Microsoft Entra RD in settings, and then fixes rolling out for everyone in the beta channel. I'm just going to mention these two quickly. Um, the update addresses an issue that affects the spell checker, and it also addresses an issue that affects the ActiveX scroll bar. Apparently, it didn't work in Internet Explorer mode, and that's also rolled out to the stable version. So just... Um, a good indication that beta and stable are very close to each other currently. Now, just to roll off and round out this video, uh, the next one is a Microsoft Store update. And uh, um, apparently Microsoft says that the Store update is now bumped up to version 22.312 in the beta channel. And the first is that um, when you initiate a download from the Microsoft Store, Microsoft says they will send a notification, as we can see, when your app is installed and ready to use, this can be toggled off in the store settings page. And when they give options like that, I always think that's a nice move in the right directions. You can also launch instant arcade games while browsing. So now you'll be able to launch these games directly while browsing or in search results. And you simply just hover over the instant arcade game and click the play now button. And I've actually posted on that previously. And then the Microsoft Store update also brings... Uh, performance improvements when installing from search or browsing. So that's uh, give or take what's new and improved. And that's rolling out now with build 22635.3061 with KB5034215. And as mentioned, the beta channel now is starting to head towards that moment five public release in a couple of months. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.